Hi, I'm Natalie, and today I'm going to show you how to design a business card using Adobe Illustrator. Whether you're starting out fresh or needing to give your brand a little update, a great business card is a simple way to share who you are and what you do. Plus, I've included a free downloadable template in the description below. Let's jump right in. We'll start by opening up the business card template I've included in the description. It's set up with the correct dimensions, lead, and safe zone, so all you need to do is personalize it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change my background color to match my branding. This is the front of my card, so I'm gonna make it my pink branding. And I'm imagining this as if it was a Threeology brand refresh. So this is like a fake refresh. And then for the back of my card, I'll change it to a softer kind of white, creamy white and then I'll lock that layer. Next, let's add the key details, your name, business name, and contact information. Stick to clean professional fonts to make sure that everything is easy to read. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my name here. And then what I do here, and then adding my details. I'm just gonna add a fake number here. And then my email. And my website. and my handle. And you can see it's sticking out. So of course I'm gonna drag it on over to make sure it's centered with these other items. I'll go ahead and select all of these. And the social is on a different layer, so I'll, I'll unlock it. Then we'll select these and then we'll align them and drag them on over. Next up is I'm going to upload my logo. So this is where you're gonna be placing your logo. You can go ahead and remove this text. You can also just hide it in case you want to like make sure that you can always have access to this template. I'll go ahead and input my logo here. I'm gonna go ahead and file and place my logo. And I gotta resize down. We can also use alignment to make sure everything is nice and centered. And there we go. And then you can go ahead and add more details. So after I've uploaded my logo, I'm making sure everything looks nice and clean. If you don't have a logo yet, stay tuned for an upcoming video on how to design a logo using Adobe Fresco and Adobe Illustrator. Now that we have our logo in, to make things more unique, I'm bringing in some icons I created in Adobe Fresco. These simple hand-drawn elements add personality while keeping things professional. So I'll go ahead and create a new layer to add these hand-drawn elements and they imported into Adobe Illustrator. I'll go ahead and place them. They're really large, so I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the size of them. And here's my little elements and then I'll place them on my canvas to see where I like them best. So I think I'll put this one right here, maybe turn it on over to the side. And then I'll probably bring this one here, maybe this here and here, just duplicating. And then this pencil, I'll grab and place it over here, make it fun. And the last thing I wanna do is I wanna grab some of these stars. So I have these stars here. I'm gonna go ahead and create some additional stars here. We can actually use the star tool for that. I'll place it on here and we will just reduce it to four points. And then if I zoom in here, I wanna soften the outer portion like this. And there we go. And then I'll just place this where I need it to go. I'm thinking one right here. Now I'm checking the alignment to make sure everything looks balanced and polished. Remember simplicity is key when designing business cards. Finally, I'll export the design as a print ready PDF. So I'll go ahead and click on export and we'll go ahead and click on export for screens, front and back. And we wanna make sure we select PDF. And we'll include the bleed and then we'll click on export artboard. I also like to export high-res PNGs in case the program I'm using doesn't accept PDFs. So I'll go ahead and click on File, Export, Export for Screens, and this time we're going to click on PNG, and let's just make it four times the size, make the scale four times so it's really nice and large and crisp, and we'll click on Export Artboard, and they should be done. And here they are in my desktop. So I'll go ahead and close that. 
And there you have it, your custom business card is ready to go. Be sure to download the template in the description below to get started. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and continue watching for more design tips. I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.